Okay. So, design equations for MFR or MF of solids. Okay, MF of solids. Still, there are some more condition. Uniform gas throughout. Uniform gas composition. Composition. Yeah. Any other condition? Constant particle size. Okay. You can also add here constant single particle size. And SEM. Right? Yeah. Good. The design expression already you have derived. Right? We have given the equation. What is the equation? Tomorrow examination. 1 minus x bar b equal to 0 to tau. 1 minus x b single particle, s p e single particle, e power minus t by t bar m by t bar m d t. That is the design expression. And the general procedure is, if I have three steps controlling, we have that equation t by tau equal to in terms of three resistances, very lengthy equation. So, that equation you have to take, but this t by tau is a function of x b. You will have 1 minus x b to the power of 3 or 2 by 3 and also 1 by 3, all kinds of combinations of 1 minus x b is there. So, we have to solve for 1 minus x b and then substitute here for single particle and then integrate. That is the general procedure. So, to simplify to understand you know easily, for example, if it is film controlling or um, reaction controlling or diffusion alone controlling, all three steps single steps controlling, we will have the equations and complicated things I will give it to you, so that you can do in the yeah in the examination. Okay. Simple things I do in the class, complicated things you have to do in the exam, but that is an examination. It is always like that you know, you, you tell in the class simple things and then allow you to expand your brain thinking, how to extend these situations to various complicated situations. In fact, true education is that. Okay. And if you are not doing that, what we are doing is coaching. What is that? Give the problem and ask you to solve thousand times the same problem, so that your speed will go to 0 to infinity. Okay? Even before you see the question, you will answer. That is what is coaching centers do. No? Uh, but I think in real education, expansion of brain. So, that is why examination always complicated problems. You have to extend what, what you have understood, you know, the knowledge. Good. So, now that is why simple things for me first film control. If you have film control, you know that the equation for 1 minus x b. What is the equation for film control if I have only I mean in terms of 1 minus x b? 1 minus x b equal to t by tau funda is okay, that is okay. But now you have to write in this fashion for single particle, right. So, 1 minus t by tau, that is the one. So, we have to substitute this equation 2 in equation 1. Yeah, Prabhu, finally, you got your uh, assignment? We will do it today, uh, because tomorrow exam. No, but did you see, you said that you know email, you could not get it and all that. No, first of all, you have to accept that you should be in the group. You, you already accepted that, then why did you not get? All of you got it or not got? Ah, ah, yeah. So, because all, all uh, other assignments also I will be sending only through this group. Otherwise, uh, 
Rahul, I think we can do simply taking their actual uh, IDs and then make as a group, I say. Why should we go to Google and take permission from them, yes or no and all that and then finally put it? That is the best one. You have, you know, you are not using S mail, right? You use? Huh? Uh, so, then give a S mail, I think you have all the role numbers. If you add all role numbers, that is your automatically S mail, right? Yeah. That is official is always better. Google is difficult, we do not know. I think uh, everyone has to accept first, if they do not accept, they, they do not accept. Yeah, but I prefer S mail instead of Google group. What is the advantage of Google, Google group? This also I can make it as a group. All these numbers together in one group mail, so I can, how many, uh, everyone forwards, right? Your S mail, whatever you are using, for that mail, S mail is forwarded. You can also do that. Okay. Good. So, substituting equation 2 here, we have for single particle 0 to tau and uh, this one 1 minus t by tau e power minus t by t bar m by t bar m d t. So, this is equation 3. And I am going to write here, uh, after integration you are going to get the final expression. But if you write the same thing in the examination, I do not give you in marks. Okay? Yeah. So, it is not memory, you should also use that mathematics. So, that is why please do not write that after integrating, you are getting the one. Now, I am going to write after integrating. Okay? <laughs> so, after, after integration, yeah. Uh, integration by parts, you know, this is E. So, after doing that, what you get is x bar b equal to, you can also write in terms of one minus e power minus two by t bar u, where tau is the single particle uh, time required for complete conversion and t bar m is, yeah, you see this is the beautiful integration of kinetics and contacting. Okay. Yeah, contacting comes through t bar m okay. yeah, and kinetics comes through tau. Okay. Good. So, this is 4. So, practical engineers have also used this, this e power x, if you take e power minus x, you have some expansion, right. e power minus x equal to 1 minus x and x square factorial by 2 and all that. So, okay, x square by 2 factorial, that expansion if you do and then write, you will get again in terms of 1 minus x bar b equal to 2 factorial tau by t bar m 1 by 3 factorial tau by t bar m square again plus alternatively 1 by 4 factorial yeah factorial tau by t bar m whole cubed minus now etc so this is the equation yeah, yeah. this is the equation 5 generally we can prefer this and uh, this also sometimes can be used. You know, this is by trial and error only you have to solve. Yeah, in this case, of course, it is easy. You can bring this side here, and uh, because you know, either you have to find out either x b or t bar m. Okay, so given t bar m, you find out x bar b. Otherwise, for a new reactor, x bar b, you have to assume. Okay, 90 percent conversion, for example, or 99 percent conversion, and then solve for t bar m. Tau comes through kinetics, total time you should know. Okay. So, that is why, that is why I think it is maybe trial and error problem. So, this is good guess in the beginning and then you can refine, retune it for exact answer. So, that is what, what we do. So, this is for uh, film control, next one is reaction control. Diffusion is slightly cumbersome, so that is why reaction control we are going. This is again you will get an analytic exp expression here. For reaction control, you have the equation for single particle x b s p. Yeah, anyone remembers? 
1 minus d by tau yeah whole cubed okay yeah if you see the actual equation in terms of the t by tau equal to 1 minus 1 minus x b to the power of 1 by 3 okay so that you are writing in this fashion so now equation 6 is again substituted in uh, equation 1 substituting equation 6 in 1 let me write the equation 1 minus x bar b equal to 0 to tau for this one it is 1 minus t by tau whole cubed t bar m by t bar m d t. So, this is equation 7 good and this mathematical technique you have to learn it comes through the recursion formula because this is cubed and you have e power minus t here. Okay. Anyway, this is constant. So, that mathematical technique you have to show when I ask derive that corresponding equation. Okay. So, after this is equation 7, yeah. again after integrating equation 7, through that recursion formula okay brush up you know you learnt mathematics only not to write the examination later to, to use okay so that's why i think you have to brush up all those things here yeah what you get is an analytical expression x bar b equal to yeah i don't know how do you remember but you have to remember tau minus 6 t bar by tau whole square plus 6 t bar m by tau whole cubed. Yeah, and here we have 1 minus e power minus minus t bar m. So, this is the equation, this is equation number 8. You see now you have 3 t bar by tau and next one is minus 6 t bar m by tau square plus 6 t bar by tau or t bar cubed and into that exponential term right. This is truly difficult if I give you t bar it is very easy for you to calculate simply substitute t bar by tau because tau through kinetics you will know and then you can easily calculate x bar b, but for a new reactor it is hell you have to solve this equation. Okay, to calculate what is t bar m and for that unless you have practice you are always going to complain in the examinations or time is not enough. Yeah, if your velocity of writing is 0 you need an infinite time I say infinite time you cannot give for examination. Okay, so, that is why you practice 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 that is why assignments are given good. So, again we can expand this and then write this in a more uh, easy manner for solving the problem as engineers. So, we have uh, in series 1 minus x bar b 1 by 4 tau by t bar m minus 21 by 20 tau by t bar m square plus 1 by 120 tau by t bar m whole cubed etcetera. So, this is equation number 9. So, that is the another case. Okay. Let me underline this, so that you will see difference you know somewhere. Yeah, next one is diffusion control as diffusion control. Yeah, what is the equation for as diffusion control? Yeah, I will write tell me t by tau equal to 1 minus 1 minus 
or 3 into, yeah, right. 3 into 1 minus x b, 2 by 3 plus, yeah, this is for uh, single particle, right. Yeah. Mm, what is the equation number 10? This I cannot write so easily the way we have written here. Okay, yeah, I am uh, telling that many times. So you have to solve for this one minus x b and then substitute equation one, and then you have to get uh, the final solution. So that is not the easy one. So that is why people have already expanded that in uh, you know some comment of series solution. Then we have the solution for ash diffusion control as 1 minus x bar b equal to 1 by 5 tau by t bar m minus it's going over. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. 19 by 420 tau by t bar m whole square not cross that okay plus I will write here 41 by 4620 tau by t bar m whole cubed that is plus. Then you also have another term minus 0 0.001 149 tau by t bar m to the power of still some more. Able to see that one difficult. Huh? Ah, this is equation number 11. Only thing you have to pray is that you know you should never be diffusion control. Okay, but unfortunately most of the time it is diffusion control. <laughs> Why? Why most of the time it is diffusion control? Yeah, there are some rules you know to remember very easily. Why? Because most of these gas solid non catalytic reactions takes place at very high temperature. So, reaction uh, will be generally very, very fast because Aryan is equation. Then, whenever you have the product as uh, ash, where uh, you know structure is porous, then outside film is always negligible. So, that is why most of the time this is the equation we have to remember. Not for the examination I am talking. I am talking about in general. Examination I can give any control. Okay. So, this is how. Uh, you have to solve this problem and then you have to remember all this and again as usual I am giving you if I give you T bar m that is a for existing reactor where you know already T bar m. T bar m is nothing but W by F where W is the hold up of solids inside the reactor and F is mass flow rate of the solids. Okay. Normally, it is in homogeneous system it is volume by volumetric flow rate, but here we go for mass yeah weight by mass flow rate of uh, sol, uh, solids. Okay, Good. So, if I already have the reactor T bar m I know then I can calculate x bar b which is easy, but to design a new reactor you have to assume whether you are going for 99 percent conversion, 99.99 percent conversion and then solve this equation for T bar m. Good. Okay. So, because you have exam tomorrow, let us do one or two problems, so that you will have at least some experience of doing a problem. I know this may be the first and last time we do the problems. So, that is why I think I will tell you some problems. One plug flow reactor, other one is mixed flow reactor we will take. Okay. For plug flow reactor, please take the problem statement, I will just dictate. Yeah, you remember plug flow. For plug flow, the single particle equations like uh, equation 2, equation yeah, 6 and equation 10, all of them are straight, straight forward you will get it. Okay. Only thing is T is replaced by T bar P, T bar P. Okay. So, that is mean residence time of solids within the plug flow reactor. So, that is all and uh, depending on which one is control, you have to substitute that. And I also told you that we may have distribution of particles that we have done. If you have simply distribution, take the average, average weighted average, right. 
So, that is why we will do one problem because the other problem is simple uh, single size particles. We will take for plug flow distribution of particles, right? That one is like, okay. Please take uh, this problem. A feed consisting of 30 percent of a feed consisting of uh, consisting of 30 percent of 50 micron. Fifty micron radius particles, comma forty percent of hundred micron particles. Okay, micron radius. Okay, hundred micron radius particles and thirty percent of two hundred micron radius particles is to be fed continuously is to be fed continuously in a thin layer in a thin layer onto a moving grate onto a moving grate here it is moving grate cross current okay onto a moving grate cross current to the flow of reactant gas cross current to the flow of reactant gas full stop okay for the planned operating conditions for the planned operating conditions, the time required for complete conversion is 5 comma 10 and 20 minutes for the three sizes of the particles. 5 comma 10 and 20 minutes for the three sizes of the particles. That means, here I have tau minutes 5, 10, 20 for three sizes of particles. Okay, full stop. Find the conversion of solids for a residence time of 8 minutes in the reactor, very nice problem. Find the conversion of solids for a residence time of 8 minutes in the reactor. So, T bar P is 8 minutes, yeah. Tau's are given, tau for uh, 50, tau for 100, tau for 200. Please try. You have the calculators, no? You have to bring calculators every day because separate test. Anytime I can give. What have you know? No calculator. Read the problem. Is there anything missing? Which is not uh, specifically given. Uh, yeah, how do you find out which one is rate? Uh, which one is controlling? Huh? Bula? Reaction control. Why? Why do you say reaction is control? Tau is directly proportional to R. Yeah, but now uh, you have crossed the LKG because uh, the other one, when you are talking about three controls, tau was also proportional to R for film also. But later you graduated when you are talking about changing size particle. Okay, for if the particle is becoming smaller and smaller, okay, so that, that means if you take very small particle, constant size, then the exponent may be different. So, that is why for film control the exponent changes from 1.5 to ok. So, that is why the logical conclusion here is reaction control. How, how can you say that? Feed is fed in a controlled manner. Yeah, feed is fed in a controlled manner. This is moving grate in fact. Ok, so this is moving grate where? So, here only you are feeding. Of course the depth I have not shown you. So, this is this is moving rate comes out. So, I told you know this is wonderful example for uh, plug flow, because every particle definitely will spend exactly same time here. In normal flow when you have fluids that is not possible, but solid this is one of the excellent examples. Okay? Yeah. So, this is what, but uh, how can you say that when it, when I put on the moving grate, how can you say that it is reaction control? And yeah, gas is moving cross current to this. Yeah, so what? <laughs> Even then, how do you co conclude that it is reaction control? You cannot say. 
Okay, thin means what? You are putting thin, so what? It can be film controlling, it can be diffusion controlling, ash diffusion controlling or it can be reaction control also. That will not tell you anything. Unless I say that I have infinite velocity, one will go. Which one will go? Infinite gas velocity. Film control will not be there because the, uh, the film thickness is so small that may not be contributing. But you know that is a lousy assumption. If I have infinite velocity, solids will not be there. They will be fluidized. They will go to some other solar system. Okay. So, that is why that is also you cannot say. Only from data you have to see tau is proportional to r. Yeah, we have uh, another one for film control. I have given you some data. I do not know whether you are there on that uh, day. Or if, if you have film control, the exponent falls. It will change from 1.5 to 2. That is also one, one of my favorite problems. Huh? I can ask that also. Prove that for film control, if for small particles and large particles, show that the exponent changes. Huh? Evident. How, how can we uh, get that from the problem? That you already you should have that knowledge. Because for film control, we have shown that from uh, mathematical equations, derivations, derivation we have derived for small particles, large particles. I did it for n, you know, just exponent n. We just wrote a small particle and large particle. Here we don't really have a particular transition and a particular numerical value which says what is a big particle. That is excellent expansion of the brain. Good. That is nice if you do that. But we are not going to that complicated where in transition between this particle to that particle. If you are able to do that, you will get 100 percent marks. But there would be a number generally, as in, at least in order of size. So, uh, like an mm would be considered, uh, one mm particle would be considered. Yeah, but how do you find out that you tell me? That's what I am asking you. As in, I have already told that I say. That order also, how do you find? That is what I am asking. What is the starting point first of all? What are the equations we have used for small particles and large particles? Film control. You heard of Frost Link equation? Frost Link equation or Ranjan Bar. I, I have told that already. Yeah, that is why you have to continuously come to the classes, not alternatively. You are sine waves. Okay? Yeah, up class, down, no class, up class. Okay, and regular period. One class attend, next class don't attend. Another class attend. By the way, if you don't get that 85 percent attendance, uh, I am going to send this information to Ramurthy, Dean AC. Okay, so I think definitely you have to follow. I mean, hey, the continuity I say, subject continuity must be there. Ranjan Marshall correlation. You you remember? Ranjan Marshall correlation. What is that? Ah. 2 plus something. Uh, that something also you have to remember in the examination. Now, we can say something. Okay. From there, you can find out whether 2 is dominant and compared to the other term. You know, for small particles, Reynolds number can be neglected. Based on that, you can really find out what is the transition range and all that. But these are the simple problems for your exercise understanding. Straightforward. R is proportional to tau or tau is proportional to R. That is what I say, film control, if you have film control, the exponent will change from 1.5 to 2 for small particles and large particles. So, that kind of situation is not here. Okay. So, that is why I read my notes, or I, even if you do not come to the class, take notes from someone and then read. Large particles 1, oh no, 1 to 1.5, correct? Yeah. Ah, I am sorry, I was telling 1.5 to 2, oh, it will change from 0.5 to, I have, I have given also that one, that notes I do not have. Yeah, done it. No one has done it. Huh? So much time. 0 point? 0 0.9352. Ravi Kumar, you have done it. Huh? 0 0.966. 0 0.966 is not correct. How did you do? We should have three terms there for three contributions. So, I will write the general expression. I think I will go that side. 1 minus x bar b equal to we have 1 minus x b for 50 micron particles into f of 50 micron particles by f plus 100 micron particles again f of 100 microns by f uh, I think I have to write here only. So, 1 minus x b of 200 micron particles into 
yeah that is the equation okay yeah and uh, 1 minus xb of each general expression is for plug flow 1 minus yeah tau whole cubed right so you have to substitute this for each you know t bar p you know tau for each particle three three terms and f by f naught is 30% 40% another 30% for yeah different three sizes yeah how much you got please remember there is a condition that uh, if a particle has tau less than t bar p so that will not contribute to those terms okay and to check uh, if you substitute that and calculate you will get some illogical answer conversion coming more than one yeah exactly conversion coming more than one is illogical you know you cannot have conversion uh, 120% or 200% okay what shaker no 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 you will get correctly 93 93.2 see actually this term will not be there yeah that term will not be there so then i think you know for the 1 minus x bar b equal to 1 minus 8 by 10 whole cubed into 0.4 plus 1 minus 8 by 20 whole cubed into 0.3 so this this, this was yeah this how much it comes you tell me sir uh, uh. this one 0 0.068 so x b x bar b will be 0.932 or 93.2 percent yeah that is the answer good shall we take another another problem quickly yeah we have to do this because in the examination for you tomorrow okay this is fine now prabhu able to get it yeah simple only i say for you simple if you concentrate it's not difficult at all okay let us do for uh, mixed flow reactor another problem for mixed flow reactor okay please take this yeah a stream of solid particles r equal to 1 mm radius equal to 1 mm passes through a bench scale fluidized bed reactor a bench scale fluidized bed reactor full stop the solids react with gas solids react with gas to give a solid product according to according to scm shrinking core model slash reaction control so it is straight away given here it is shrinking core model reaction control as follows okay the solids react with gas to give you a solid product according to shrinking core model scm reaction control as follows so that as follows is f naught equal to 100 grams per minute that is one w hold up oh one more zero and x bar p equal to 0 0.65 okay this data given for the bench scale laboratory reactor so next one assume uniform gas composition throughout the reactor okay assume uniform gas composition throughout the reactor then one calculate the expected conversion calculate the expected conversion in a commercial sized fluidized bed reactor calculate the expected conversion in a commercial sized fluidized bed reactor of 4 tons that means w equal to 4 tons 
4 tons treating treating 40 kgs f naught equal to 40 kg per minute of 1 mm particles same thing 1 mm particle 1 mm particles yeah that is one okay you have to calculate the expected conversion of this 1 mm particle in the actual industrial reactor where i have 4 tons of uh, hold up and 40 kg per minute we are processing okay that is the input uh, to the reactor good number 2 number 2 find the size of a single size fluidized bed reactor find the size of find the size of a single fluidized bed reactor needed to treat 4 tons per hour that means here f naught is given 4 tons per hour of r equal to 1 mm particle again okay, same particles 1 mm particles to 99 percent conversion to 99 percent conversion. So, x bar b this is a nice problem covering all that you know like uh, you have a fluidized bed uh, laboratory reactor this is what normally we do for any new process we, we develop a small reactor in the laboratory and then try to find out what is happening in that and then extend that data to large scale systems. Okay? Yeah. So, in the first data is given to you to find out T m is given, T m is uh, 1000 tons by uh, sorry 1000 grams by 100 grams per minute. So, tau you will know and is only single size particle no problem reaction control everything is clear. So, that means, tau you have to calculate from this data and in the first this industrial problem it is asked to calculate expected conversion x b equal to x bar b equal to how much. Here w equal to how much? Yeah, yeah. T bar b is given there or T bar m. T bar m is given here because it is again oh no no T bar m is not given here. Only tau you know. X b is given here. X bar b is given here. So, you have to find out T bar m. We will do that and uh, you see from the laboratory reactor you have to use this equation or this equation to calculate T bar m by tau, T bar m is given anyway here T and then calculate tau. Okay. So, from equation 8 by trial and error or this you can start and then put it here by trial and error and then you have to find out. right? Yeah. So, from laboratory data bench scale or lab data Yeah, uh, lab data. What is this? T bar m. T bar m equal to ten minutes. Right? X bar b is 0 0.65. Term should we take the yeah, that depends on uh, the magnitude of uh, tau by t bar m. Because if tau by t bar m is very small, so cube will not contribute that much. Yeah, so that you have to decide for each problem when you have this idea. But we don't know tau here. Yeah. I mean, uh, what is the safe bet? What do we start with? Safe bet is eight. eight. Sorry. Equation eight. Okay, equation eight. That is analytical formula, closed form solution. So, you have to start. That is why mathematical methods in chemical engineering you learn, you know. So, all that is only to use here. No, you all the time you do not have to have a computer, you can also use brain. Tau is 18.89. Yeah, approximately 20. Okay. 19.88 I got by trial and error. 
it depends on how many terms they have taken and all that. Okay. Yeah, you have to do that. Good. Yeah. So from this first part, what you get tau v is uh, nineteen point eight eight minutes, or approximately twenty minutes engineering. Good. Ah, uh, by Taylor error method. There are many methods, no? I think uh, you can uh, guess a value and then what is that? Uh, uh, next one, uh, whatever you get, what is that? Uh, ah, Newton's Raphson method. Yeah, correct. So with uh, two or three or uh, three times also, if you do, you will converge to one value, like that. Okay, good. Yeah. So then the other one, what uh, the, you know, this bit, if you want to find out, again you have to use the same equation. But what is known there? Tau is known to me because same particles. That is not going to change. Okay. Then uh, T bar m is known to me because T bar m for the first case is four thousand divided by forty. That will give me T bar m. Tau is known. T bar m is known. So for first bit here, this is easy. I think everyone likes that. T bar m. Yeah. Can someone tell that answer? By the way, what is T bar by tau? T bar by tau is how much? A T bar m by tau. Hundred by twenty. Yeah. Yeah, nineteen point eight eight. If you take uh, almost five. T bar by tau. I am asking. Five. Yeah, of course. When you are substituting there, you have to substitute reverse. No, here it is okay. T bar by tau. Correct. Ah, uh, how much? What is the answer there? X bar b. Ah, uh, any other answer? Maybe seeing me, you may think that I will give only always uh, difficult problem. Rachit, got it? No calculator. Why? If I have if I have given you surprise test, what you would have done? Huh? Exact. I also got point nine five two. Ninety-five percent. Uh, 95.22% okay so x bar equal to 0.9522 good so the other one because you don't have time now to check all this the other one is calculating w uh, to calculate w first you should solve this equation for t bar m okay because tau is known x bar b is given so x bar b is how much 0.99 So you have to solve again the same formula, only one formula. That's all. Now you have to calculate T bar m. If you calculate T bar m, that will be uh, that you check that. Uh, then uh, hmm. T bar m is approximately. Anyone did it? No. Twenty-five tau. Yeah. Around twenty-five. So now you know T bar. Uh, yeah. Okay. What is W? If if you take that answer. Huh? We calculate again. Twenty-five tau means twenty-five into twenty, right? Five hundred. Huh? Yes. Thirty-three point one ton. Let me that. Let me vary slightly. This means that way. Okay. So W equal to here thirty-three point one tons. Okay. And now you can imagine how do you put this thirty-three point one ton in the reactor? It's a fluidized bed. So I told you, no, that example. All our Indian movies end with a, uh, yeah, what is that? Marriage. Okay, all the problems start later. So here also exactly same thing. After calculating W, all the problems start. How do I put that? Is it one particle, one above the other, where it can go to 
Mars or Moon somewhere. Yeah, or is it uh, in this direction any infinite uh, diameter and then you know you will have one layer or less than one layer. How do you really choose it? This no one talks generally. Most of us only say that find the volume or find the hold up. Then how do you how do you really put that in the reactor? So that shall we wait till fluid aged bed reactor design is done. Okay. There are some thumb rules. What is the diameter and what will be the height of the bed? Diameter generally L by D people take one to two. Why? Pressure drop is one criteria, but I think uh, you know not that one. Huh? No, what is the idea? What is the assumption for fluidization? Perfect mixing. So to maintain, if you put one kilometer height and then you know perfect mixing, I cannot expect. So similarly, I put one uh, kilometer uh, diameter and then again fluidize, I may not expect again uh, you know perfect mixing. So that is why L by D equal to two. Even though industry they may go to three, four times also. Because they don't bother approximation, because in the same area they are able to accommodate more number of uh, area is important there, no? So that's why sometimes four, five also they go, but four, five you will not get definitely good mixing, because our assumption the entire thing is based on perfect mixing. So when you are designing in the reactor the final uh, fluidized bed reactor in the industry, that also should have perfect mixing of solids. When you don't have, your assumptions are wrong. You will not get exactly the same conversions. Or you need more than this. If the assumption of perfect mixing is wrong, you may need 40 tons instead of 33 tons. Okay, so those things I think we will discuss when uh, fluidized bed is uh, designed. But this is how, like for example, even in uh, uh, this is one. Yeah, uh, here if the problem is the reverse, I asked. You know, in the plug flow reactor design, if I ask you the reverse question, that means T bar P is given here. But now I will ask you to calculate T bar P, and uh, you have to calculate conversion. Sorry, uh, given conversion. Given conversion, calculate T bar P, right? So T bar P, you got eight minutes. Now I tell you that okay, let us use rotary kill. Rotary kill also is a plug flow reactor, right? Uh, what is the rotary kill? You have a cylindrical tube moving slowly like this. Okay, so it will rotate slowly it will be rotating feed here solids will come out of course we are talking about large amount of gas so either you can send this way or this way to maintain that uniform composition of gas throughout the reactor okay so then yeah i think listen to this is this is very important rotary kill design right so that 33 tons for example if i have that 33 tons and that 33 tons also i have to accommodate here how do you accommodate? What is the length I have to take? What is the diameter you have to take? And you know, hold up uh, uh, in a rotary kiln, how much free volume is given for the particles to move? Because it has to rot, yeah, rotate like this, go up, and the particles will be taken to the top and then they fall. Okay? So, to give that, that is a good guess. Uh, less than 10 percent you will have hold up. 90 percent is free volume, 6, 7 and you know the rotation, I mean, uh, RPM, uh, very high. This I think one of my problems must be there in your uh, plant design, you know that uh, problems you have 60, 70 problems. This rotary kill design also should be there, one of my problems at that time which I have. Margaya. If you have go to critical speed and all the totally merge. No, below that we have to. Huh? We have to maintain the How much below? It is actually 5 rpm, 4 rpm, 6 rpm like that. Very, very low slow. Very, very slow. Particles slowly go up. If you are almost going to critical speed, what will happen? I am just example, as an example. So, solids will go and stick to the walls and uh, all gas will go through the center. So, bypassing. Ah, you have to also provide the residence time. So, that is why length will come in the residence time. And you know, angle, how much angle do you think it will be? 
30 is too, too large. It is again 3, 4 degrees to provide you know maximum residence time. 30 is very slant, everything will come out so quickly. Yeah. So, you know all these things you know very, very simple things what we think. That is why I told you my example you know that marriage uh, or movies end with marriage, but afterwards so many problems are there. Uh, starting with you know who has to go and buy vegetables after marriage. Before that both will go happily. Okay. So, like that here also every everything is a problem. How do you fix them? How do you rotate them? Even this also. So, what should be the diameter of this wheel? What should be the diameter of this wheel? Okay and the distance, length and width, all these things are problems. They should not be. If you have mechanical vibrations, particle may go forward, particle may, may go yeah, and also this way, you cannot expect again ideal plug flow. We have to be close to our ideal uh, assumptions, right. So, that is the challenging for engineer. You assume something, how do you maintain the same thing in industry with the same assumptions? Same conditions like ideal plug flow, same conditions like ideal mixed flow. Beauty, beauty, chemical engineering is beautiful because only chemical engineers deal with so many types of equipment, not others. Because every process is different for us. If you take sulfuric acid, the same sulfuric acid things you cannot use for nitric acid. You may say both are acids, sir, I can use, you can never use. And even if you have the both the process, nitric acid and sulfuric acid, both process together also you can never use it for hydrochloric acid. That is that independent work. Oh that is independent, these are independent. So, that is why every time for every flow chart, you should have a different kind of equipment, where beautifully everything is, that is why chemical engineering curriculum, I think a subject is so beautifully designed. Okay? Everything comes under mechanical operations or you know that uh, uh, other unit operations. Correct? No? Any kind of equipment, we can put that, because the basic phenomena is same but you can use different kind of equipment. So, that is why simply E transfer, mass transfer, momentum transfer and uh, CRE if you read, you know most of the things. Of course, thermodynamics is God, you cannot cross beyond that, not process, uh, process control is the final control and process calculations will give you what is entering, what is leaving, you know energy balance, material balance and all that. Ah, man, really, I love chemical engineering, uh, you know the subjects. Uh, everything, you know, anything, that is what, you know, only two ideal reactors. Any kind of reactor you bring, I can divide, I can tell you whether it is either plug flow or mixed flow. What a wonderful assumption or assumptions. So, that is why chemical engineering, the design of curriculum and is really great. I do not know, you may not like it, most of you, when I say this, because you say that management is great, because 30,000, 30 lakhs, 40 lakhs after MBA, what is the, or 1.2 crores. That is what people see there, but the beauty in subject I say, that is very, very beautiful. Chemical engineering is wonderful. Okay, anyway, this is my passion, but it may not be your passion at all. Okay, thank you.